Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit four, lesson 12, finding the percentage. Problem number one. A music store marks up the instruments it sells by 30%. A, if a store bought a guitar for $45, what will be its store price? We need to find 30% to $45 and then add that 30% to the $45. We can do that by multiplying 45 times 30%. 45 times 30% is written as 45 times 0 0.30 and that equals 13.5, which is $13.50. So 30% of $45 is $13.50. That's the markup. We need to add the markup to the price of the guitar. $45 plus $13.50 equals the store price, $58.50. The store price is $58.50. B. If the price tag on a trumpet says $104, how much did the store pay for it? The price the store paid for the trumpet plus 30% of the price the store paid for the trumpet equals $104. We need to ask what number plus 30% of that number equals 104. We can write that equation as n plus 0.3n equals 104. Next, we solve for n. Since n is 1n, we can add 1n to 0.3n. That becomes 1.3n. We can write the equation as 1.3n equals 104. Let's solve for n. Divide both sides by 1.3, and we get 1n, or n, equals 80. The store paid $80 for the trumpet. C. If the store paid $75 for a clarinet and sold it for $100, did the store mark up the price by 30%? Let's find 30% of 75, and then add that to 75. 75 times 30% is 75 times 0 0.30, and that equals 22.50. So 30% of $75 is $22.50. Cents. $75 plus $22.50 cents only equals $97.50. It doesn't equal 100. So no, the store didn't mark up the price by 30%. They must have marked it up more than 30%. Problem number two. A family eats at a restaurant. The bill is $42. The family leaves a tip and spends $49.77. A. How much was the tip in dollars? If the family spends a total of $49.77, we can subtract the amount of the bill, $42, to figure out how much the tip was in, in dollars. $49.77 minus $42 is $7.77. The tip in dollars was $7.77. B. How much was the tip as a percentage of the bill? That's like saying 7.77 is what percent of 42? And we can find that out by dividing 7.77 by 42, which equals 0 0.185. As a percentage, this would be written as 18.5%. The tip was 18.5% of the bill. Problem number three. The price of gold is often reported per ounce. At the end of 2005, this price was $513. At the end of 2015, it was $1,060. By what percentage did the price per ounce of gold increase? First, we need to find the difference. $1,060 minus $513. That equals $547. The question can be rewritten as 547 is what percent of 513? And we can find this answer by dividing 547 by 513. And that equals 1.07. Written as a percentage, 1.07 is 107%. From the year 2005 to the year 2015, the price of gold per ounce increased 107%. Problem number four from seventh grade unit two, lesson seven. A phone keeps track of the number of steps taken and the distance traveled. 
Based on the information in the table, is there a proportional relationship between the two quantities? Explain your reasoning. Let's use the information in the table to test this out. 950 steps times 1 kilometer equals 950 steps. If there's a proportional relationship between the two quantities, then 950 times 3 would equal 2,852. 950 times 3 equals 2,850. So no, there is no proportional relationships between the two quantities because 2,852 is not the same as 2,850. Problem number 5 from 7th grade unit 4 lesson 4. Noah picked 3 kilograms of cherries. My picked half as many cherries as Noah. How many total kilograms of cherries did my and Noah pick? First, let's find the answer. Then we can decide which of these four expressions represent the correct amount. The information tells us that Noah picked three kilograms of cherries and my picked half as many cherries as Noah. So that could be represented as three plus half of three or three plus one and a half. Since 3 plus 1.5 equals 4.5 or 4.5, we're looking for the expression equivalent to 4.5. A, 3 plus 1.5, that equals 3.5, so that's not equivalent. B, 3 minus 1.5, that equals 2.5, so that's not equivalent. Let's skip down to D, 1 plus 1.5 times 3. That can be rewritten as 1 plus 1.5 times 3 or 1 half of 3. Since 1 half of 3 is 1 and a half, we can rewrite this as 1 plus 1 and a half. And 1 plus 1 and a half equals 2 and a half. So this is also not equivalent. Finally, let's look at C. 1 plus 1 half times 3. 1 plus a half is 1 and a half, and 1 and a half times 3 equals four and a half. So expression C is equivalent. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.